Hello guys and welcome to a small update for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now this is really news news, but it is an update that I miss. So let me just get into it. Now if you are planning on getting both Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield digitally, well, you can use the Nintendo Switch game vouchers to get both Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield for only $99.99. And you will save $20 obviously. Now you don't have to get both copies of the game, so let's just say you want to get one, like only one copy, so Pokemon Shield. Well, you can also get Super Mario Maker 2, uh, Smash Bros, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild. You can get all those games for the discount of $20. Pretty nice, in my opinion. And these are not set in stone, so you don't have to say, I'm going to have to get this game and this game. So if Pokemon Sword and Shield news come out and they run the game even worse somehow, well, you can use it on a different game like Astro Chain. They're only available to July the 31st, so grab them if you want them. And you will need a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. The Wild Area got a new weather effect called Thunderstorms. In battle, it adds the effect of electric terrain and rain, causing water and electric moves to be powered up. Uh, this is a unique idea, and I love it. And I hope when you do this in like Wi-Fi, like set up electric terrain and rain, it will become a thunderstorm weather. I think that would be like fusion like weathers or fusion effects really seem like a cool effect and this might happen with other effects though it's not been confirmed obviously also in the wild area you'll be able to catch strong pokemon but you won't be able to catch strong pokemon or the game um, this possibly means that you will have to have a certain number of badges to be able to catch like a level 60 mon you have to have like six badges i i guess this is balancing the game i really don't know um, it's pretty unique that they did this, so it is a more up and area it seems. And for the final thing, is the Pokeball Plus. Now like, let's go, you can put Pokemon in the Pokeball Plus and take them with you. I think it will increase your friendship values, but I don't remember what I did in Let's Go. I assume it does the same thing in Let's Go it does in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't know. Also when you connect new Pokeball Plus to Pokemon Sword and Shield, you'll be able to get a Mew. Uh, this is, here's a legendary Pokemon for free. Oh, not for free, $50 value, but eh. You can't use the Pokeball Plus as a controller in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I didn't think I had to mention this, but for online play, you have to purchase a Nintendo Switch online subscription. I saw some people talk about this on a form. Like, they was kind of shocked and surprised that they had to do this. So, if you're watching someone with four subscribers talk about Sword and Shield news, and you didn't know about this, well, you can thank me in the comments below. Now, Anyways, if you dislike this video, you can dislike it. If you did like this video, though, you can subscribe and like the video. And I'll be covering all the latest news for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And I also do other types of videos, like looking at the UI for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let's Plays, if you're still living in 2011. And videos theorizing how PSS could be implemented in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. That was only one video, though, but I think that was a really good video. So you can check it out. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.